high definition. More than 15,000 women will die of ovarian cancer this year. But ovarian cancer is highly curable if it is caught early. And our Dr. Max Gomez has word of a new test being tried in New Jersey that may just be able to do that. My tumor, which was very large, it was five inches by seven inches by seven inches, was mainly contained in my left ovary. Scary as that sounds, Lynn Franklin was actually lucky. Her tumor had not spread beyond her ovary. It was stage one, and she's now more than seven years after her ovarian cancer diagnosis. I was very bloated, okay, uh, uncomfortably so. Barbara Sutherland was a little less lucky. She's having her last course of chemo after being diagnosed with stage two ovarian cancer. But both women's cancers are highly treatable because they're early stage. It's late stage ovarian cancer that's deadly. 70 to 75 percent of women with ovarian cancer present with advanced stage disease and those are the women that it's, it's diffi more difficult to treat. But that could change with this blood test that looks for a marker of ovarian cancer. Overlook Hospital in New Jersey is one of only six trial sites nationally using something called CA-125 to detect early ovarian cancer. But CA-125 can be elevated for many non-cancer reasons. This test looks for the change in its levels after a woman has found out her baseline CA-125 number. Preliminary results are finding ovarian cancer well before symptoms appear. The potential impact can be to really decrease the mortality and the suffering due to this disease. Lee Radge has volunteered for the study, partly because her mother died of the disease and partly for the future. If we can take this worry away from the women, it would just put so many women at ease. Till now, CA-125's usefulness has been in detecting recurrence of ovarian cancer. Women in this study are followed either right away or every 3 to 12 months based on their baseline CA-125. Women can still volunteer for what doctors are calling a potential game changer in ovarian cancer. Christine, Maurice. All right, Doc, thank you. For Lonnie and the entire CBS2 News team, thanks for joining us today at 5. I'm Christine Johnson. I'm Maurice Dubois. The news at 6 starts right now.